Hey folks, I'm Tori. Welcome to Bass Strategy. Today we've got an unboxing video for you all. Just got my package in from the Black Friday deals at Tackle Warehouse, and it is a big one. Now, based on my feedback from my last unboxing, I've made some improvements. We've got a knife to open the box. This is a completely unopened box, so we're going to dive on in, uncut. Let's go. So, a lot of folks like to use Black Friday to get a lot of high ticket items. I don't usually do that. What I like to do is use the Black Friday deals to restock and grow my gear collection. So you're not going to see a lot of those high ticket items in here, rods and reels, things like that. That's not what I get on Black Friday. But instead I've got a lot of other, other gear in here, other lures. Paperwork. So the very first thing I see on top here is something that I've been looking forward to for a couple of years now, ever since this came out. And that is the Plano Edge Box. Now these are a little bit more expensive than the other boxes that I use, the other Plano boxes. But for Black Friday you get a little bit of a deal on them and I figured it was a good time to give them a try. I just got one of them. I'm going to put some lipless crankbaits inside this box, so I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing how these work. I can already tell that it's a lot more rigid and durable than my other Plano boxes, but really looking forward to trying it out and uh, seeing how they hold up. So but that's the Plano Edge box. Some plastic. All right, now we've got some... Uh, restocking on my Reaction Innovations Little Dippers. Now these I use as trailers on my swim jigs and this is one color I was really low on. It's the Impact Bluegill. It pairs really well, uh, pairs really well with some of the lighter white bluish colored swim jigs that I use. So uh, if you haven't tried these on your finesse swim jigs definitely try them out the Reaction Innovations Little Dipper and the color I'm using is Impact Bluegill among other. The other some of my other favorite colors are Sprayed Grass um, and then there is a Frozen, the Frozen color which is white with like a shiny blue hologram to it. That's another good color but uh, these ones are also a good all-around color so definitely check these out. Uh, here's a new lure for me this year. This is the Mega Bass Giant Dog X. It's a walking bait. You can check that out. In fact, let's, let's get this out of the box. I have its packaging and take a better look at it. Now, walking bait is not something that I've gotten too much into, so going into 2021, it's something that I wanted to try out a little more. And, you got to go with one of the one of the best companies out there in Mega Bass and try theirs. Looks really good. First impressions, of course, with Mega Bass, you're going to get a really good paint job, and I got that on here. Uh, the color here, what color is this? Um, oh, it's called AU. It's the AU color, and it's got that green back to it, and kind of that silver clear body. Um, again, in the pond, I've said this in a lot of my other videos, in the ponds and lakes that I fish in, green is a really good color, so I wanted to look for something with that uh, green back to it. So, uh, first impressions look good. We'll see how they do headed into 2021. Here's a big item here. These are horizontal rod racks. Um, I actually just recently moved and a couple of my rods didn't fit going vertically on my vertical racks, so I needed to get a horizontal solution. So I picked up a horizontal rod rack. No big deal, hook these up today and get my rods up on the wall. One of the most 
anticipated items in the box I see here. And that is the Tackle Warehouse t-shirt. I got it in royal blue this time. Got to keep up with all of their colors that they come out with. A few times a year they should change it up and I want to make sure I have one in every color that they have ever come out with since the beginning of time. So we're on to the royal blue. Now here's something that I have always preached on over the past few months. A little bit of a forgotten lure and something that not a lot of people uh, focus on and that is the Lunker City Sluggo. Check these out. These are in four and a half inch. I got them in I think Funky Fish. Funky Fish is the name. And this is a soft plastic jerk bait. Uh, you can use these a couple different ways. You can rig them up and just kind of let them fall and they'll kind of give a wide spiral fall to the bottom and then you can uh, jig it in a little bit and it'll keep on falling slowly. So you can use the slow, slow method like that. The other way you can actually use this is subsurface and like kind of like a jerk bait, uh, but a little more quicker. Just throw it, let it sink a little bit under the surface and then you just jerk, use it like a jerk bait. So restocking here, uh, one of the lures I tried this year, I wanted to expand my swim jig trailers and the one that stuck out to me this year was the X-Zone Swammer. And I got the Sungill kind of color. So you see a little orange, orange and green. So yeah, these ones stuck out. I got a lot of movement out of them. I tried out a few new ones this year, but uh, these were the best ones by far. So that's the X-Zone Swammers and I got the four inch size. Let's see, we got a jig here. This is a swim jig, finesse swim jig, and uh, I got this in Alabama Cross. Something else I like to do for Black Friday is start stocking up for spring. So in springtime, once the red colors become popular, they're impossible to get. So Black Friday, um, or even over the winter time, before, anytime before February, even January, they start running out of stock in some of the red colors. Um, you want to stock up on that. So this one uh, is in Alabama Craw, so I'm going to pair this up with maybe that uh, Sungill X-Zone Swammer or maybe something else that gives a little bit more red and uh, get them in the springtime. Staying with that, I've got the Sixth Fence Quake in red. I think this is Crimson Craw. Yes, Crimson Craw. Let me take this out for you. So I did really well on the lipless this uh, late fall. Late fall lipless was really good and that's something I want to continue going into early spring so I wanted to stock up on my red colors. Look at that. Crimson Craw looks awesome. And that's Six Sense Quake and just the standard high pitch rattle. Definitely looking forward to that. Alright, what we got here? Oh, here we go. This is another good one. This is another lipless crankbait. This is the Jackal TN60. And um, this is another uh, lure that I used, another lipless I used all fall. And I actually got a really nice size on the disc knocker, but this is just their, their standard series. And that is the, um, I think the HP Sunfish color, the Sun HH. G sunfish, it's a holographic sunfish looking color. And it's got that nice uh, rattle sound. The good thing about these is uh, you can use them on the bottom. It's got a uh, weighted front on the lip here. It's got a little bit of weight to it. So when it goes to the bottom, it sits up straight with its nose down. And that's really hard to find in a lipless. And actually that's how I caught uh, that big fish. I think it was a 4.6 pound bass. Um, about a month ago on the uh, one knocker version of this. Definitely check them out. They're a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it uh, because they're really good quality lures. This is the um, Jackal, the uh, Jackal TN60. So a restock in here, some tube hooks. So there were a couple of times this year where I went out and I was losing tube hooks left and right, which is bad luck over and over again. Uh, I was using obviously light line with the tube and um, 
That's what you, that's what's going to happen once in a while. So I need to stock up. This is a quarter ounce size. I use the Big Bite Baits uh, tube head. Just restocking up on those. Uh, we got another jig here. This is one of my favorites. Uh, this is the um, Dirty Jigs Pitching Jig, and this is in the color Hammerberry Crawl. So that's a really nice color. If you haven't checked it out, definitely want to check that out. Hammerberry Craw. Pairs well with a lot of different color trailers, browns, greens. You can use it so it's a pretty versatile color. Um, it's hard. To, it goes in and out of stock pretty quickly, so definitely check it out. Uh, the Hammerberry Craw color. Again, I'm restocking. Another thing I tried this year that I really liked were these uh, Picasso Aaron Martin's uh, Rhino heads for the finesse worm style of fishing. I uh, really like these, so restocking a little bit and got a few more sizes that I could use. Some more terminal. Some more terminal here. Restocking on some drop shot weights. These are the um, Wu Tungsten drop shot weights. So we're going to see a few of these. Uh, this June in particular was a good month for the creature, and one of the creatures that stuck out for me were the Missile Bait Destroyer. And so I got a few packs of these coming out. Um, I got the full size. They also have a baby size version, but uh, don't be afraid to go with the full size. Even in your ponds, if there's a smaller fish in there, they will eat this and they'll eat it aggressively. As a general rule of thumb, if you're using anything with a curly tail on it, I really don't pay too much attention to the length of the curly tail. I really only look at the uh, size and bulkiness of the body, and that's how I determine if it's going to be too big for the fish in that pond. So this full-size destroyer, no problem at all. Even though it has a big profile on the package, those curly tails on them are really big, so uh, don't really be uh, too put off by that. So I got a few of these. Got another one in here. That was the uh, green pumpkin flash. I got another one here in bruiser, which is a blue, bluish color. And I've got candy grass. Something more in the green purple. Some more of those. Uh, definitely restocked on those. Oh, we got another. Six cents. I got a lot of lipless in this box as well. So this is another Quake 70. I'll take this one out as well so you can get a better look at it. There it is. Six cents does another is another company that does a really good job on their paint their uh, paint jobs. Looks really nice, and that's just that standard standard pitch. So again, talked about these. I've got the Exxon Swammers. These are the trailers I'll be using. This is the three and a half inch size. Uh, so definitely trying a couple different sizes to see, um, give, give myself some options. Now here's a couple of things. Uh, bait towels. Uh, the ones I was using were several years old and uh, so it's time to replace my hand towels on the boat so you catch a fish you want to wipe down your hands afterward seven bucks each on sale for black friday so check them out so another lipless here this is another um jackal tn60 in the red i love this color this is the rt escape Pro. it's a red color i'm planning on using this in the spring yeah, that looks really nice. Let's, let me show you. Look at that. They do such a good job on, on the um, detail on here. And that's just that standard pitch again. Uh, I got some more uh, Jackal TN6, another one of them. Uh, just a different color. This one actually, I believe, is the di yeah. This is the disc knocker. So just the one knocker version. Same thing. I got a couple of those. I got another six cents quake. This color actually. This is the uh, bluegill spawn color. This is the one I did the best with this year. 
this bluegill spawn color. I'll take it out and show you. Oh yeah. Check that out. This is the color that was the best one for me all year. A nice bluegill color. Looks so natural. Great job by Sixth Sense with this color. Here comes something new. This is the um, Power Team. It's called Hog Tonic. It's a scent, a spray scent. So something else I got into this year was uh, spraying some scent on some of my lures. It was so crowded on the water that you just want a little bit of an edge to separate yourself. So um, I actually I'm trying this out for the first time. I got it specifically because it's a spray bottle top and I, it's kind of a cleaner application than some of the other ones on the market. So I'm gonna give it a try heading into 2021. Got a couple of sun protection items here. This is the Afco face mask. Got a new one of those. Just uh, a couple of my other ones were getting pretty well worn, so I just wanted to replace one of them here. And then I also got uh, the Sims sun gloves. Why Sims? Because um, they actually make the fingerless or the no finger glove. And uh, let me try to see if I can get open this and show you why specifically I like this sun glove. So the reason I like these sun gloves, they're, they're fingerless, is because you put them on, right? Okay, so this is their fingerless design, and you see how there's nothing out here in the middle. That's very important to me, um, because say I don't want to necessarily have the full glove on anymore, rather than having to pull the whole glove off, I can put my hand through that hole and just kind of wear it right on my wrist. Now my hands are completely free and whenever I want to put the glove back on again, I just pull it back over. So rather than having to um, take my gloves off completely and um, put them back on again, it's a real quick change for me. So that's not something I'm aware of the other companies doing. So definitely try that out and it's a good durable sun glove. I have a few of them. So Sims Fingerless Sun Glove. So then we got some line. I see already um, I got some Sunline fluorocarbon leader. I got a few different pound tests of that. I've got this is 14 pound, 6 pound, um, should be some other ones in here somewhere. This is Sunline Braid. This is, this is their XX1 Braid. It's supposed to be really good. I haven't tried it. This is going to be a new um, experiment for me. This is going to be, for my spinning reel applications, it's supposed to be really good. So trying that one out for 2021. We got some Power Pro, got 50 pound test in yellow. That's going to be more for my heavier flipping applications. And I got the yellow so I can pick up on the line movement better because this 40 pound test in the moss green, I couldn't really see the line and it would be really useful. So obviously I'm going to need to put a little bit of leader on here, but at least I can pick up those strikes better when I'm flipping into that cover. Let's see, I know there's some more money in here somewhere, but we're going to have to get to it because I'm still digging through here. Um, some more tube hooks, got to replace the tube hooks. Another package, uh, actually these are the Missile Baits Baby D-Bombs. These are good for trailers. I use them as trailers on my jigs. It's just a little bit different, a um, little less of an aggressive action than your pack a cross or, or striking rage cross. This is a little bit more of a subtle action. So uh, when that jig fight is a little bit tougher, check out these baby D bombs. But also, I had to restock on my pack of chunks. So this is just in plain Jane Brown. It's one of my favorite colors uh, from this, from this uh, 
style of pack across. It's pretty compatible with um, greens and browns, oranges. It's just a great color to have. And it's not flashy, just plain Jane Brown, but it gets the job done. All right, moving along, we've got another uh, Mega Bass Giant Dog XF Pad Walking Bait. Got a couple of those, same color um, as before, the AU color. Some more lipless. This is another one of those uh, same color, the Jackal TN60 in that Escape Claw color, that red color. Double, double dipped on that. This is another Six Sense Quake. A lot of these. I think I got more than this one. I've got another one here. Oh, this is a different one. This is a lipless, but it's the Damiki. Um, What's the Tremor? And this is, I like this one in silent. Uh, so I got a couple of these Daniki Tremors in silent. Let me show you this. Just really like their silent uh, lipless cranks. Um, some more lipless, some more of those Jackal TN60s. Um, another Daniki Tremor. This one is a uh, silent, but it's that red color, the um, red craw for the spring. So stocking up again for that spring bite. You know, last couple of years I, I go out there and I was like, I, I think I got plenty of red for spring. And then I get out there and I just don't, don't quite have as much as I thought. And then I go to try to buy it and it's sold out. So I wanted to fix that problem. Check out that. Red craw looks really nice. A little bit of orange on the belly. So, red will not be, I will not be short on red this year. <sighs> jig. These are my red jigs. I'm going with the, it's a football jig. It's Nor Cal Craw Color by Jerry Jigs. I got a couple of those in here. Oh, this is another Dirty Jigs. This is their Swim Jig. This is a greener color. But uh, again, red. I'm going to pair that up with a red trailer. Just some another, another look of red. Some restocking on some uh, Gamagatsu EWG Superline hooks. I use those for uh, flipping applications. Some more of these X-Zone Swammers. Same color. Uh, that color was, what color was that? Doesn't really say. Oh, the 309 color. It's kind of more of like a pumpkin green, pumpkin seed with a, a bluish pearl, a pearl belly. Stock up on those. Here we go, the other standout creature bait from June and into July was the Kai Tech Crazy Flapper. I got the full size 4.4 inch. The, this is a size bigger than the one I used, just wasn't quite big enough for me. So I wanted to move up to their biggest size. Uh, this color was the Okeechobee Craw, it's their blue color. Uh, definitely check these out. So those two were the standouts for the year, the Crazy Flapper and the Missile Baits Destroyer. And again, don't be afraid to go full size. There's more Destroyer, same color, that green pumpkin flash. I don't really like to overcomplicate it with my colors. Uh, I like to do something in the greens, something in the blues, and obviously something in the reds for some of my hard baits. Um, some more trailers. This is Magic Craw color for the pack of trailers. And here's some Rage Tail trailers in the blue craw color. Blue craw, yeah, no, blue bug was the name. So, stocking up on trailers, I should be all set for this year or next year. Some more of the crazy flappers. This is green pumpkin, green flakes. So, greens and blues, guys. That's keep it really simple. Now here's something 
If you guys aren't doing this, I highly suggest it. It's going to make your life a lot easier. The KVD Line and Lure Conditioner. You sp I spray this on. Um, well, when I'm spooling up my line, I spray it and wipe it down on my line as it goes into the spool. And then the night before, I go out in the morning, or the morning before I go out in the evening, I just spray down all the reels I'm going to bring. and just keeps that line uh, much more manageable, a little easier to, um, to use throughout the day. So check that out. It's good with braid. It works wonders with fluorocarbon, with the manageability of it, and your mono. Uh, that you use is going to have uh, more more limpness to it, so it's going to sit on the water better. You're not going to get those coils out on the surface of the water, and it makes a big difference as you move into that second part of the year. Well, looks like we got a few jigs here. Let's just try to do these all at once. These are all dirty jigs, so we got a couple more of the swim jigs here. Moonshiner was a great color. I, I like, let me show you that color. One of my favorite colors of the year was Moonshiner. It's kind of a, uh, I, I like with jigs, with any jig, swim jig, um, or just your football jig or pitching jig, I like to choose colors that pair well with a lot of different trailers. Now you see with these finesse swim jigs, it's got a really thin skirt. So that trailer that I pair with it is going to show up really well. So I like going with colors that are pretty, um, pretty basic. Uh, this is more of a white with hues of gold and green. And I can go a lot of different directions with this. I can go with a bluish trailer, a white trailer, but I can also pair it with a green trailer and it'll look good with no matter what um, trailer I put on. So if I just want to make a quick adjustment on the water, I can swap out my trailer rather than swapping out a entire jig. So Moonshiner was one of my favorites because it's a very versatile color. So this one, Warmouth, this one is a new color for me. I wanted to get some greens into the mix of my jig, jig collection more. And, and when I say green, I mean more of like a light green. And I saw this online and I thought maybe this would um, be a good addition. It's a pitching jig and this is called Warmouth. Let's see. So you can see it actually has some chartreuse. I did not know it had that chartreuse in there. It looks kind of nice. And this will be a good um, just something a little bit lighter. Sometimes I would go into my jig box and the greens I had were either too dark. Um, I just wanted something a little bit lighter colored. So we'll see how that does. A couple more jigs here. Well, we've got another Warmouth. We've got another NorCal Craw. Um, this one is a good um, Okeechobee cross. This this color and this one pairs really well um, with your Magic Cross. Something that's that blue and green. Take this out. This one's actually real. You'll see this one is a really dark, bold blue on the back of a otherwise pretty pale green base. But if you put a Magic Craw on there, it just looks so natural, even in clear water. So even that bold, bold blue, when you put on a subtle trailer, makes it look really natural. So it's actually one of my favorite clearer water or just stained water colors in the spring and early summer. It's a big box of stuff. Uh, I wanted to get, I needed a few different colored tubes. So a lot of tubes uh, that I had were a uh, green pumpkin, something more on that green side, and I wanted something more on the bluish spectrum and pumpkin-y spectrum. So this one uh, was Columbia Bluegill. So this one is pretty blue. It's blue with a little bit of gold flake. I'm not sure if that shows up well, but yeah, those 
look good. So this is Dry Creek and it's the full body double dip tube, three and a half inch, nice big tube. some more Baby D bombs, and this is in their El Diablo color, so it's almost like an Alabama craw. Try that out. Um, it's, this is actually a good color, it has its red hues to it, so again, a nice trailer to pair in the springtime when they're going after that red color. And here's the tubes I got, uh, same full body double dip tube by Dry Creek. And this is going to satisfy that pumpkin color. It's called changeable orange. But it's, it's not really a bright, bright orange. It's kind of more of a dulled down orange. It's really good. I love jigs. So let's, let's get through some more of these jigs. We've got a swim jig in crappy, that crappy color. It's again a really basic color, it's black and white. I've got New Sexy Shad. This one has a little bit of yellow into it. That's the only difference between that and uh, just any other light white based swim jig color. Another one of those. Another football. This is Alabama Craw color, but basically with the same concept. Green pumpkin with a little bit of red and orange on it for the springtime. And one of my favorite colors, this was my favorite color swim jig of the year, the baby bass color. And then we got some replacement hooks. These are some feather trebles, owner feather trebles, just white, size four. Nothing too crazy there. Another jig, NorCal Craw again. I will not be beat on red in the spring. Here's my 12 pound test FC leader I was looking for this earlier. Sunline, the fluorocarbon leader is really great. This I'm trying, this is new. Uh, Sunline kind of snuck this onto the market this year and it's their nylon leader. So I got a 10 pound test nylon leader. I'm trying this out. Um, just, just trying it out. Uh, sometimes I don't need a fluorocarbon leader or it's not advised to use a fluorocarbon leader when you're using a top water lure. So go to a nylon leader uh, and we're going to see how, how it goes. Um, and I'll let you guys know. This is new for 2021 for me. Some more tube heads. I will also not lose all of my tube heads this year because I have plenty of them, hopefully. Last jig, this is another swim jig, it's Moonshiner again, that Moonshiner color, uh, finesse swim jig. All right, we're getting right down to it here. Some replacement treble hooks, I, I carry these. These are actually um, short shanks. So these come in handy. Where were they? The Jackal, those uh, Jackal TN uh, 60s. Let me see if I can get one that I had opened. It's a great lure. This is a one knocker. But notice, they, all, they come stock with really nice hooks. But if you're catching fish and you're fishing all day with this, uh, those are gonna dull out. And you will notice this back hook is much smaller than the front hook. And you don't want them to link up and catch on each other, you can ruin a cast that way. So um, to solve that problem, I got short shank hooks and I can use those, I like to use them on the back and just use a standard size, uh, four size in the front. And that short shank will um, ensure that they don't hook onto each other. All right, here's the last few handful of things. I've got some more tungsten weights. These are just quarter ounce. Another Damiki Tremor Escape Craw. Again, gotta have that red color. Uh, here's another one. This one's hard to get in stock. This is the Damiki. It is that silent uh, Tremor. And this color is that soft shell. 
I think it's called. It's this yellow, clear yellow color. Hard to get a hold of, especially right now. I think I got one of the last ones in stock, but look out for them. This was good in the fall. This is probably going to sit in my box until next fall of 2021. And last but not least, my favorite popper. I just wanted to get, just had to get one. Open this up. This is that live target popper. Just that regular green color. This is a great popper. Uh, if you haven't heard me talk about it already, it's good because you get a good walk out of it. You get a good pop. It does everything, this popper. Well, that's it, guys. That's all that was in this box. That was a big box I restocked uh, for Black Friday. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me that like and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.